Hi guys, I'm Evan Ershon here with this education dedication report and today we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to go over my top pick on a bunch of series that I think are super cool, fun, and adventurous. In my article I went over the Michael Vay series and I thought that that was a great series. But in this video I thought that we give you a little bit of a tutorial on some other series that I think are just absolutely amazing. Enjoy. Alright guys, this first book was a really amazing series. It was one of the first series I read. It's called the Percy Jackson series and this first book is called The Lightning Thief. It's a really great book. It's about a boy around 12 years old who lives with his mother. However, he goes to a boarding school and then he realizes that he's actually the son of Poseidon and Poseidon is the Greek goddess of the sea. And so Percy Jackson learns that he has to do duties for his dad and the other gods of Greece. So if you like Greek mythology, I highly recommend this book for you. It's super great, fun, adventurous, and overall a really great book. Alright guys, this next series is also a great series that I really enjoyed. Again, it's one of the first series I read that really got me into reading. It's a very long series. I think it has like 13, 14, or 12 books in it. It's a really long series. So if you like a long series, I highly recommend you get into this book. It's a great story. It has a great storyline. But basically, here's how the first book goes. It starts off that the main character is Bobby, Bobby Pendragon, that's his name, and he's a normal 14 year old boy and he does normal things, but when he finds out that there is a tyrant from another world, he has to go in there and stop that tyrant from destroying that world as well as Earth. So it kind of goes between different dimensions and it kind of goes through like different portals, like sometimes it will take you back in time, like in this case it's like in a medieval era. So if you like these books, I highly recommend you read them. Alright guys, this series I have to say is one of my favorite series out of this whole bunch. It's called Ranger's Apprentice and this series is absolutely amazing. This is the fourth book on the back right here. This is actually the first book. Uh, it's called Battle of Gorland. And basically this book is set around a medieval time era where basically you have this normal age boy around a teenage, a teenage, sorry, teenage boy named Will. And Will is a normal teenage boy in a kingdom. He does normal kingdomly things. He goes around and tends to the sheep and does other things but when he gets old enough he realizes that he has to get a job and most kids get a job as a carpenter, builder, painter or any other kind of job like that. However, Will doesn't really like any of these jobs and he's kind of a little bit different from other kids so he doesn't really know what to do but when he gets offered a job to become a ranger and a ranger is basically like a spy he takes it immediately and basically the whole series is Will developing his skills with the bow and arrow, the sword, and going on missions for the kingdom to save it from destruction from other kingdoms or other evil forces. So if you like medieval books, highly recommend this book for you. Alright guys, this next series is kind of a short one and if you're kind of into a short series, I recommend this series for you because it is fun, short, sweet, and overall an excellent series. So let's get into it. This first book is called Spy School and basically the main character is a 12 year old boy called Ben Ripley and Ben Ripley is an amazing, he's, a, he's an absolutely amazing character. He's really really into mathematics and he's super good at it. So when he gets the opportunity to go to a spy camp that only he and a few handful of others know about, he immediately takes up the offer. So he goes to the school. No one knows about it, not even his parents. So he goes to the school and he trains to become a spy. But when the school realizes that there's a double agent leaking out information to other sources, he has to go in there and stop this double agent. So if you like these kind of action-y books, highly recommend the series for you. It's a great book. Alright guys, this next book is called Brother Band, and Brother Band is a great series. It kind of comes from the Rangers Apprentice series, so if you want to get a better background information on this book, I recommend that you read that book first because it kind of gives some relationships to places, times, and dates, and other things like that. But you don't have to. And I just want, I thought I should mention that just to let you know if you get a little bit confused. Anyway, leading into the book. The protagonist of this book is Hal. And Hal lives in a country that views physical strength over intelligence. However, Hal is a very intelligent person. And he has to go through a thing called brother band training. And brother band training kind of really helps you to become a physical strong person. However, it also does require some intelligence. Which is what Hal is better in than physical strength. The country basically, since it requires physical strength over intelligence, basically it trains these kids to go on missions for the countries to help it grow, advance, and protect it from dangers from other countries. So that's Hal's job in this book. He has a very esteemed father who is known for his warrior 
ability and physical strength. And since Hal's not really like him, he's kind of an outcast in his country. But Brother Band is a chance for him to prove himself as a smart individual. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial on these series. I think these series are really fun and cool, and I like them a lot. Some of these were the first series I read, and that got me into reading. Others of these were series I read re recently, and I really think that they really are cool, interesting, and adventurous. Typically, the series I picked here, they're typically adventurous, so if you're not really adventurous, uh, maybe these aren't right for you. But if you're an adventurous reader, I really highly recommend these for you, because these are action-packed. So anyway, guys, I hope you really liked this tutorial. Thank you for listening. I'm Evan Ershon, reporting for QC Family Focus Magazine.